aphrodisiac. Isn't that oysters? Save me boiling. Are you in trouble? See, there you go. Immediately assume I've messed up. Family's really big with you, isn't it, Matt? Oh. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> are you going to lend me the money or not? He's old Bill. Tyne's not into GBH, Duncan. Get it real, Sarge. We could get him this time. That's worth a couple of pints at least. And anyway, we'll get the DI off your back. Yeah, there's as much chance of Rob Tyne being responsible for the violence on the Jasmine Allen as there is of me becoming the next Pope. <laughs> Who cares? A mother's testimony. The jury will be sobbing. Bye-bye, Rob Tyne. Back there what? Us, That's my kid lying there. The kid I asked you to help. And it was definitely Rob Tyne. Mrs. Phelan insists she saw the attack. Helen, Lee wouldn't speak to me. You know that. Lee was scared any more and could see that. You didn't help him because you couldn't be bothered. That's not true. A waste of space. Okay, Helen. What do you reckon? Rob's into some pretty nasty stuff. He's a money-lending scrope. This is way too much, even for him. So did she ask you for help? Yeah. And yes, I thought she was overreacting. It's not one of my better decisions. Open up, police! Ah, Sadie. Is Rob around? Anybody else? <laughs> oh. Cup of tea, anybody? How long have you been here, Rob? Mum's birthday. Been getting stuff ready all day. I, uh, I even made the cake myself. Didn't I, Mum? It's nice. Must have cost a bit. I like spoiling her. Nothing wrong with that, is there? No, it's admirable. I'm just trying to work out how you can afford it all. I've got receipts. It's all paid for. Had a win on the horses, right? Come on, let's go. I've been here all day. Not this time, Rob. We've got a witness. Get your coat. Yeah. Oh, I told your DS about time when he broke into my neighbour's flat. You actually saw him? Yeah. But DS Singh reckoned he couldn't arrest time because Amy wouldn't press charges. Amy's your neighbour, yeah? Yeah. And she told me she saw time hassling Lee for money. Waded in, tore him off a strip. He didn't like that. He'd shown up on the street. So he turns her flat over. Twenty quid's where this started. Wait, is that what Lee owed Tyne? To start with. Every time he paid a bit back, Tyne added on interest. He'd upped it to a hundred. Lee could never get clear of him. So what was the money for? You know what it was for. So this Lee Phelan? He said it was me who beat him up. I didn't say that, Rob. I said we had a witness. And I got an alibi. Lee Feeler knows you money, doesn't he, Rob? Says who? Come on, this is getting childish. Isn't it, Jack? This is serious assault, Rob. Which means we get serious and the judge gets serious. So stop mucking us about. Look at you. Sorry, Mum. It's all right, love. They've arrested Tyne. Tyne didn't get me. Your mum saw him, Lee. She didn't. She wasn't there. Helen. Don't do this, Mum, please. It'll be all right, son. Promise. Mrs. Phelan asked me to protect her son. I thought she was just being a pushy mum. Not Rob Tyne, I thought. He doesn't hurt kids half his size. You see, even you don't think it was me. I mean, we know how you operate. Bit of dealing, bit of money lending. It's all very cosy. But it doesn't buy you a big new hi-fi system, and it doesn't put kids like Lee into hospital. Now, burglaries and street crimes have gone up tenfold around your way. Now, I'd say exorbitant interest rates being charged on debts are the likely cause. Now, no way that's all down to you, Rob. My DI wants to find someone to blame for all this. And right now, you're all I've got. 
Okay. What about before? Your other recent attack on someone half your size. What are you on about? Lee Phelan's neighbour, Amy Cooper. Oh, nice name. Pretty, is she? Lee's mother said she saw you coming out of Amy's flat. And surprise, surprise, the flat was trashed. And, uh, what did this Amy have to say? Do you want to change your statement, Helen? Okay. No, I didn't see him. It was him. You know, we can't do anything without evidence, don't you? The whole estate said they'd seen him. You still wouldn't do anything. Looks like time keep your jobs going. Better get back to my son. Oh, come on, Vic. You said it yourself. This is way too big for Rob time. He might charge 500% interest, but he doesn't go around breaking kids' legs. Yeah, but he's still part of it. So what do you suggest? You know we're going to have to let him go, Sarge. Yes. Thank you, Duncan. I could have you for harassment. You can't pick on me like this. I can. And I will. Send my commiserations to your mum. That your way of saying sorry. I meant for having such scum for a son. Witness backed out. And your theory is? Vic, being tasked to find out what's behind the increase in violence on the Jasmine Allen means exactly that. I know, Gov, but no one's talking. Well, Mr Chandler is, and he's getting a bit uppity. And I quote, Money lending has been hanging over the Jasmine Allen like a disease, and it's about to become fatal. Unquote. Now, if you think Tyne's our problem, or even part of it, then I want him, you understand? Gov. Good. I need June to talk to Helen Phelan. And no, it can't wait. And I need her here. I'm sorry, sir, but with Matt Boyden on leave, I can't cope without her. Getting to the root of the problems on the Jasmine Allen has got to take priority. Exactly. Now, can we go? This is ridiculous. Are you, with respect, sir, Craig's got a point. Meaning? Giving Matt permission for last-minute leave isn't exactly helping. If it had been your mother who had been taken ill, I'd hope Matt might be a little more sympathetic. Right, June, go to St Hughes, but get back here as soon as you can. In the meantime, I'll help. Any questions? No, sir. A bit hard-nosed, wasn't it? What? All that stuff about Matt. He'd have done the same. Yeah, but if his mother's ill... His mum is probably skipping down to the shops as we speak. Look, if I was to tell you that Vicky Hagen had booked leave this week as well, would you still call me hard-nosed? Cheers. Mm. Muscles. Aphrodisiac. Isn't that oysters? They're lovely. Very romantic. So what are you going to do with them? You mean, what are you going to do with them? What? We had a deal. I do the shopping, you do the cooking. Got any recipe books? Boiling water. <laughs> oh, we're talking to you now, am I? Mrs. Phelan, Helen, I really am very sorry for what's happened. Uh, who is that? What? The woman you were just talking to. A friend. She's my neighbour. Well, Amy. Mrs. Phelan, I know this is a very difficult time for you, but if we're going to put away whoever did this, then we're going to need your cooperation. You're unbelievable. I already told you who did it. Uh, Vic, can I have a word? Yeah, in a minute, June. You've already admitted to Sergeant Ackland that you didn't see the attack after all. I didn't need to. How many times? It was time. We're going to need something a little bit more concrete than your instinct, Mrs. Phelan. Don't patronise me! Look, Helen, I'm really sorry. Believe me, we're as frustrated as you are. Now, this is important. June? I'm sorry, but you won't get me anywhere. The woman she was just talking to, the neighbour. Uh, Amy Cooper, yeah. She was around when Helen Phelan was asking me to help her son. Right, she's got a kid, yeah? Yeah, a toddler, about two years old, I think. Her name's not Cooper, it's Boyden. She's Matt Boyden's daughter. Who is it? Amy, it's June Ackland. Oh, come in. Safety 
visit a friend. I didn't want to take her to the hospital. Is she okay? Yeah, she's great. She roam loads. Is your boyfriend still in prison? Well, I can't see him. Can you? Sorry. How long have you been here? Uh, about six months. Council offered us this or a place on the lark meet. Your dad doesn't know you're here, does he? No. Look, I'm sorry I didn't hang around to say hello at the hospital. It's just that I don't want my dad to know about all this. Well, why not? He might be able to help you. I don't want his help. Come on, he wouldn't give you a hard time. Wouldn't he? Look at this place. I haven't got it sorted from when it was done over. Dad would take one look at it and he'd be off again on how much I'd screwed up my life. OK. So what about Lee? It's not my fault. I didn't say it was. Didn't need to. All right, yes. If you'd have done as I asked and put in a complaint, then Tyne wouldn't have been around to attack Lee. It wouldn't have made any difference. You might have arrested Tyne, but he would have been bailed within hours. That's not how it works and you know it. Oh, yeah, whatever. It's not too late. If you help us prosecute, you'll be helping Lee. We've had this conversation before. She said she didn't want her dad to know. He's her father. You'll only alienate her. Well, you don't know that. Look, there's no way Amy will cooperate if you send her dad round. Matt isn't just a colleague, he's a... he's a mate. All right. Ten quid says he's not here, but actually is nursing his sick mum. Uh, you're going to pay me now or later? Uh, you didn't accept the bet. June. Ah, uh, Matt, can we come in a minute? Oh, we're just about to go out. Is it important? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm afraid it is. So she's all right now? She was well when we saw her. What about the baby? Well, we didn't actually see her, but Amy said she was healthy, happy, growing up fast. Well, that's good, isn't it? It's good that you know where she is, Matt. You can see her, maybe. Right. Well, thanks for letting me know. Well, aren't you going to get around then? No. We're about to go out. Oh, Matt, her flat's been turned over. I know, I heard. Well, don't you want to check she's OK? Well, what's the point? Amy doesn't want to see me. That's it. End of story. Well, 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 what about Tyne? I mean, Amy might get us a conviction. Tyne's been around since the Dark Ages. I'm not interrupting my leave, so as you might get her to testify. Matt, Rob Tyne has been at the centre of the crime surge on the Jasmine Allen. Now, Amy might know something. Well, then you talk to her. You've got more chance of getting something out of Amy than I have. A bit late to visit your mother. Eh? Hey? Well, what with her being so ill and everything. <sighs> Family's really big with you, isn't it, Matt? Unbelievable. I should say so. I think he deserves everything he gets. Well, maybe he's right about Amy. She is his daughter. He should know her best. He hardly knows her at all. If she was your kid, wouldn't you just drop everything and go? 4-8 from Sierra Oscar. You're receiving, June. Great. Uh, Sierra Oscar from 4-8. I'm on my way back in, Craig. I promise. Oh. Vicky? Are you sure you still want to go? Yeah, last show's 9.30. Yeah, it's only a film, isn't it? I mean, we could go tomorrow and you could see Amy tonight. I thought you said you were ready. I am. Look, do you want me to shut up about Amy? Yes, please. Pictures is. Right, the girl's name is Shanaz. Brother's in a pretty bad way. But she's pretty sure Rob Time was one of the attackers. Yeah, definitely. Another guy dragged the kid out of the flat in front of her, but she can't ID him. Shanaz, I'm DS Singh. PC Harker here tells me that uh, you're thinking Rob Time's part of this. Can you think of any reason why someone would want to attack your brother? It's not the very words, it's Nas. <laughs> this isn't fair. Who's Nas? Our cousin. But he said he still owes, but Nas has moved out. So Rob Tyne and some others came up to Tambir for the day. Shanaz, are you going to help us put Rob Tyne away for this? You definitely send him to prison. Yes, but only with your help. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do. 
Sam! Sarge. Where's the girl? I've left her talking to the doctor. She's just down here. So has the doctor said anything? Yeah, they're worried about internal bleeding. They're going to operate on him, see how bad it is. Oh, nasty. Yeah, it doesn't sound too good, does it? So have you picked him up, then? No, no, I want to get her thing first. Right, well, I think you've got him this time. She seems dead set on it. Right, well, cheers, Sam. Thank you. Shanaz? You OK? I hear they're going to have to take Tanvi to theatre. Well, look, don't worry. Might not be as bad as you think. But if it's OK with you, I need to take your statement now. I can't. What? Just leave me alone, okay? I'm not making a statement. That doctor, what did he say to you? Shanaz, he was a doctor, wasn't he? Excuse me. Sam! Yeah? Back here now. What? That bloke, he's not a doctor. He must be one of Tyne's mates. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me! Sam. I don't believe this. No, sorry. But did you get a look at him? Did you? Yeah, all right. Sorry, Sarge. You can't kill me to help him. I'm not trying to. So what's... Do you want someone else's brother to end up like this? It's the truth. It's corrupt. Shanaz, you don't have to tell me what that thug threatened you with, but I can guess. Now, the only way to get rid of people like that is to stand up to them. That's what Thanvir did. I mean, legally. If you testify, you will get justice. At what price? We'll give you 24-hour protection. I said no. Yeah, and I don't believe you. I mean it. No, you don't. You're scared for your family, I understand. But you're the sort who does the right thing. So if it's okay with you, I'll wait. Down there! Shut up! Stand back, please, sir. Shut up! Nothing like a bit of girl on girl action before lunch, ain't it? Shut up! Not stand back, please, madam. Was it you called us, luck? Yeah, cool, I'm making off with one of my jackets. And you knocked her in there, did you? Well, she was only going to hang around waiting for you lot, was she? Would you mind opening it up, please? Shut up! Shut up! That woman needs a rest. Really? She's doing something that you do? She dragged me into Come that hole and locked me in it, oh. Okay, is this the jacket? She let me try oh, no, it on! You now. Now. Oh, it's Amy, it's Amy, thank you very much. It's Amy, isn't it? Amy who? It's Amy Boyden. So she's saying she didn't do it? Yeah, like butter wouldn't melt. Yeah, well, the CPS are going to throw it out anyway, aren't they? So you suggest we let her go? Well, Sarge, if it was anyone else, we would. No, Reg, we'd interview her regardless, you know that. Right, Nick, you were the arresting officer, you stay with me. Reg, you might as well go for reps. Yeah, well, I've got time for a bite first, Look, Sarge. the sooner we get this over and done with, the sooner we can let her go. And, Reg, we keep Amy's true identity between the three of us, all right? I don't want the whole of Sun Hill feasting on this. You don't really expect us to believe that. It's her word against mine. Look, no stall holder in their right mind would let somebody try a leather jacket on and wander around the market without paying for it. I could have her for assault. And she could have you for the same charge. <sighs> no way. Look, you're not going to take this any further, so let me go. I'm opening the property bag. And I'm showing Amy exhibit NK1, a black leather jacket. Right. Is this the jacket you're accused of stealing? For the benefit of the tape, the suspect nods. Stand up, will you? Why? Because I want you to try it on. For the benefit of the tape, the suspect is now putting on the leather hmm. jacket. Hardly your size, is it? Style police now, are we? Who did you steal it for, Amy? I didn't steal it. You've been stealing to order, haven't you? It's mad. How much do you owe Rob Tyne? You've lost the plot. Oh, come on, look. Your flat wasn't trashed just because you had a go at Tyne for harassing Lee. 
You stole the jacket to hand over in part payment, didn't you? No. Look, Amy, I can't force you to talk. But if you're stealing, you're obviously desperate, and I have a feeling that we're the least of your worries. I have to pick up Sophie. You saw what they did to Lee. They've already turned your flat over once. You think you're going to get off so lightly next time? We can help, Amy, if you talk to us. There's nothing to talk about. OK. Interview terminated at 17.10 hours. Can I go, then? The only place you're going is back to the cells. I'll drive you back once you gather some stuff together. Look, I haven't said I'll testify. I only want to help. You want a witness? Yeah, OK, fine. It's my job. But I do my job because I want to help. <laughs> Very convincing. I mean it. Anyway, think about it. By the way, you win. How do you work that out? Well, testify or not, you get a free taxi service. Wait here. Tell me. You better go. Don't let them win, Shanaz. I'm sorry. I'll speak to the neighbours. I'll ask around to see if any of them saw who did this. I'll get them picked up. No. I understand. I really do. I'm sorry, OK? I just can't. OK. And help me another way. Give me another name. Someone else who Tyne's harassing. There's dozens. I just need one. I can talk to them, maybe help them get out from under this. I don't know. What if they end up like Tanvir? You're doing it again, that guilt thing! You can really make a difference here, Shanaz. Steve Marsden. I know his girlfriend, Tanya. He owes loads. She's really scared. Come to apologise? Strangely, that didn't cross my mind. Why doesn't that surprise me? Matt, don't start. Go on then, what do you want? Amy's been arrested. She's back at the station. What for? Petty theft. She tried to steal a jacket from the market. Are you charging her? Probably not. I suppose the whole of Sun Hill is enthralled by this latest gossip. Well, I hope I've kept it quiet. Nick and Reg arrested her, they brought her straight to me. Thank you. She's in trouble, Matt. And she doesn't want me involved, right? Well, of course she's going to say that. Look, let her go. In a couple of days when she's calmed down, I'll talk to her, if she wants me to. It's not just the jacket. I think she's in debt. She's stealing to order. She told you that? Give me some credit. What makes you think she'll talk to me? Amy only does what Amy wants. Oh, just like her dad, eh? Look, Matt! Tyne and his friends have already put two kids in hospital. Uh, could you ever forgive yourself if you didn't at least try and talk to Amy? She's right. You've got to go. Steve! Tanya Matthews, can I have a word? Uh, no, sorry, it's not convenient. It's all right, it won't be long. So, where's Steve gone? I don't know, shop, I think. Not off to see Rob Tyne, then? But Tanya, I'm really not the enemy here. Steve's in debt to Tyne, isn't he? No. 
Okay. Tyne and whoever. Now, I think your boyfriend's in danger. Now, can you afford not to talk to me? They'll kill him. I won't let that happen. You can't do anything. I can if you tell me what's going on. I only know Tyne. He's the front man. Right. So Steve borrowed money from Tyne. And now the interest is piling up and there's big threats if he doesn't pay. They threaten me. So if Steve didn't do as they say, they'll cut me. So what have they got him doing? If Steve carries on the way he is, he's either going to end up inside or in hospital. Tanya, you've got to be grown up about this. You can save Steve, and you can put Tyne and his friends away. Good break, Sarge. Oh, yeah, sorry. What for? Your daughter. I mean, I'm sure it'll be sorted out. You. Fine. Shouldn't you lot be off being sensitive somewhere else? And Reg, I'm going to want a word with you later, understood? Sergeant. Matt, why don't you find an interview room? I'll get Amy. To keep it quiet, you mean? I tried. So, the girlfriend's admitting that Marsden did the New Hill Road break-ins. Yeah, it doesn't sound as if they gave him much choice. And she knows where and when he's supposed to hand over the goods to Tyne or whoever. Not exactly. Here we go. It's this evening, definitely, but she doesn't know where. See, we follow Marsden, wait till he does the drop-off, then nick him for possession. It'd be better if you managed to get time for the assaults. Well, maybe you didn't do them, Gov. Once we've got him for possession, perhaps it'll scare him into telling us who's really behind all this. You think so? Well, I hope so. Hope. Well, I suppose without that, we're all lost. OK, set it up. Cheers, Gov. Right, I'll leave you to it. You okay? Yeah. I love being locked up. Come on, sit down. <sighs> so what are you waiting for? I don't know what to say. Then why are you here? Fatherly duty? Because June Acklin told you to. Spot on. Well, you've done your bit now. No, I haven't. I never have, have I? Are you in trouble? See, there you go. Immediately assume I've messed up. Well, you have been arrested. Always the copper. Always assume guilt. Look, Amy, I don't care about the jacket. I just want to help. No, you don't. You just want me out of your police station. I'm an embarrassment. That's not fair. Well, it's fine, because I want the same thing. I just want to get out of here. Why did you steal the jacket? <sighs> June reckons you're in debt, that you're stealing to order to pay back the money. Is that right? Oh, come on, Amy, give me a hand here. Thought this was about me. That's what I mean. Give me a hand to help you. I'm trying to help. Exactly what your mate June says. And you're her idea of helping. Then why don't you give it a try? After all, I am your dad. You're also a granddad. But you haven't asked after her, have you? Oh, come on. Give me a chance. Why? You don't give me one. Haven't even asked. Don't even care where she is. Well, June said you left her with a neighbour. Her? She's called Sophie. And she needs picking up. So if you want to help, get your mates to let me go. Do you want to go out to the river for a walk or something? No, oh, thanks. Why would you buy this rubbish? So I don't have to listen to you. Do you want a coffee? For God's sake, go and see her. Just asked you if you wanted a coffee. Go and see Amy. Give her another chance. What's the point? The point is I get to finish watching the film. Look. Maybe if you go and talk to her again, she'll see that you're genuine. Do you think so? Oh, I don't know, do I? And give it a go, you've got nothing to lose. Oh dear. 
You know him? Ashley Mullen. Trouble? It's Brother Ray who's the real pain. They moved off our patch about four years ago. Things got a little too hot for them. So what's Ray into? Uh, says he's a businessman. Runs what he calls a legitimate loans business. But it's not so legit. And if you don't pay up, you get a pasting. And we're talking serious injuries, too. So Rob Tyne could be working for Ray Mullen? It seems that way. Though I hope it's more a case of little Ashley playing Big Brother's games with his new mates. Ray Mullen that bad, then? Worse. If Tyne sold his debts to Ray, then you're in a far bigger league. She's out. Well, I saw her earlier. I thought she'd be back by now. Come on. I'm a dad. Sorry. Had you down as police. She won't be long. Gonna wait in nine. Cheers. So, how's my little angel? Hey? Sophie. I bet she's running you ragged, isn't she, you and your wife? Well, um, me and my wife are separated. We divorced years ago. Hmm, sorry, I must have got it wrong. Got what wrong? Where is Sophie? She's not living with you? No. Amy told me that Sophie was with her grandparents just till things calmed down. When you turned up, I assumed, well, I assumed she'd meant her parents. She must have meant his. Sophie's with the Coopers? Must be. They're still together, are they? Well, I don't know. I've never met them. How long has she been with them? Look, Amy's my only child. We have our differences. But I do care. That's Amy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Amy, what happened? <laughs> All right, come here, come here. It's all right, Amy, it's all right. No way. Not this time. Come on. Who did this? Time. Leave it, Dad. I can't. You got to. If they find out I'm talking to a copper. Yeah, but I'm not just a copper, am I? Such a mess. Well, then tell me. I can't, Dad. I really can't. Okay. No police. Just me. Your dad. You promise? Yes. I do owe money. What for? Shouldn't that be how much? Okay. How much? 800. But it's not what you think, it's not drugs. I didn't say it was, did I? Didn't need to. When I moved here, me and Sophie had nothing. But that was okay. Made some mates. Helen babysat. Got a job around the corner in the off license. That sounds good. Yeah, it was. Is. Anyway, I wanted to make the place nice. I oh, borrowed 200 off Tyne. For curtains and stuff. I thought you said it was 800. When I had a go at him, about Lee, that's when things got nasty. They turned over my flat and put the down. Who's that? I don't know. I don't know, Tyne. And what's this all about? A warning not to talk to you lot. You didn't tell me your dad was a cop, then. <laughs> what do you think? Tyne says they brought the payment forward. I have to meet him later with a hundred quid. How much have you got? <laughs> Thirty. <laughs> okay, you tell me where and when you're supposed to meet these thugs and I'll go. No way! Haven't you been listening? I'll go as your dad. I'll give them the money. All of it. Get them off your back for good. What's it? 
for? Don't ask, please. If I'm going to hand over 400 quid, I want to know why. I'll give it back to you tomorrow, first thing, all right? It's for Amy. Yes? Look, she's in a mess. I'm her dad. You never heard of tough love? You don't know the whole story. Are you sure you did? Look, are you going to lend me the money or not? I'm sorry. Listen, if you lend me the money, I'll be a couple of hours. On the way back, I'll get a bottle of wine, a takeaway. I'll explain everything. You promise? I promise. better than that when you get back. I look forward to it. It's Mullen theory. Yeah. Well, Ray Mullen's a career criminal, yeah? So he ain't sure of a few brain cells. So I would employ an idiot like Tyne to be his front man. Ray Mullen's well known from years back. He needs to keep his great return quiet. Are you reckon he's hiding behind Tyne? Yeah, probably. Although I doubt very much whether Tyne had much say in the matter. Are you reckon he's under the cosh as well? Could be. Although Tyne's probably too thick to realise it. And if Ray Mullen is behind it all, he's probably got Tyne thinking he's on the payroll. DC Riley from DS Singh. Got him, Sarge. Well, I better put my foot down if I'm going to keep up with that, eh? Dear Singh from DC Riley. Go ahead, Paul. Yeah, do you want to take over it, Sarge? It's just we're looking a bit conspicuous. It's like tailing a snail. Turn off and we'll take over. See Tyne. He's not here. Look, mate, I don't want any trouble. I'm here for my daughter, Amy, to pay her debt. Six hundred, Ash. Part payment. That's all you're getting. Either your lovely daughter ain't told you the full amount, or you're trying to arm Mr. Cooper. I thought I was dealing with Tyne. Well, you know what Fort did. Look, she borrowed 200. You reckon she owes eight, you're getting six. I don't think so. You're every kind of scum, aren't you? She's a single mother, living alone, broke and scared to death. Are you sure we're talking about the same aim here, Mr Cooper? 600. You're going to take it or not? Get the rest of us by the end of the week and we'll freeze the amount till then. No way, 600's the payment in full. Look, we're owed money and we're going to get it somehow. It's up to you. Is that a threat? I'll call the police. Bet they'd be interested in Amy's bruises. What? And get the lovely Amy into more trouble? Wouldn't want her to lose that cute little granddaughter of yours, would you? What's that supposed to mean? What'd she say she owed us for? For the 
for the flat, make things nice. <laughs> Got you wrapped around the proverbial little finger, ain't she, eh? The debt stands. 800. I want your word you'll stay away from her, all right? That depends on Amy, Mr. Cooper. Ray. Sorry, pal, am I interrupted? No, Mr. Cooper, here's this going. Yeah. What's he doing here? Well, it's not trouble, Ray. He's old Bill. No way, he's paying his kid's debt, that's all. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Rob, check outside. Ah. Now! Suspects parked in Mobley Street. Can you hang back and park in Teesden Road? Over. Yeah, no problem, Sarge. <laughs> Can't see any more of them. I didn't know, Ray. Shh. Amy Cooper's daddy said he's incredible. Sergeant Boy Boyden. I'm right, ain't I? Son ill. No uniform, Ray. Looks different. He whiffs, old Bill. Even your mum could smell it. Look. I'm only here as Amy's dad. So what's with the false name? Amy's known as Cooper. It's her boyfriend's name. Listen, I didn't know this was your thing. I thought she was in debt to time. I wanted to get him away from her. That's it. And now you're no different. Look, this is about my kid. I'm not going to make things worse for I bring the whole of Sun Hill down here, am I? How do I know you are her dad? I thought you left Sunny years ago. And now I'm back. I wanted a quiet life. Yeah, it looks like it. None of your colleagues know you're here, do they? Only my daughter. She's not a problem, is she, boys? Come on. Patience, Mickey. I've got a good feeling about this one. I'm not risking my career for you. It's a good offer. How? Amy's safety will be guaranteed. Surely that's every dad's dream. I'm not working for you, no way. Poor Amy, eh, Ash? Daddy doesn't love her enough. Do you touch one piece of And what? Eh? Well, come on! I don't care what you threaten. I'm not acting as an informant for you. I never thought you would, really. Still, it was fun asking, though. So... What are we going to do now? We can't let him go. Exactly. Oh, no, no. Wait a minute. Enough's enough. You can't kill me. Why not? Nobody knows you're here. You're brighter than that. Do you? The same can't be said for you. Listen, let me go and I'll keep you done. Really? Well, think about it. I want you to off Amy's back. And? Well, I'm not going to go mouthing off back at the station. Anyway, I've got nothing on you apart from the bruises on Amy. Not exactly crime of the century now, is it? Let me go. Leave her alone. And you can get up to whatever you want. What do you reckon, Mickey? He's waiting for someone to come to him? Well, he's looted his watch half a dozen times, isn't he? He's early. This is DS Singh. Suspect's on the move. Stand by. Receive, Sarge. What the? So I shouldn't be helping? Nobody move! Oh, fantastic. It's all right, Mickey. I'll get uniform onto it. All units from DS Singh. Red Yugo. Registration Echo 807 Kilo Uniform Charlie. Travelling north on Mobley Street. Steve, Sarge. And a big thank you to Matt Boyden. You're right, Sarge. What are you doing here? I should be asking you the same thing, shouldn't I? DS Singh from Sierra Oscar. Okay, go ahead. Not good news on your suspect, Sarge. You've lost him. Terrific. You knew I was after Rob Tyne. How could it? I've been on leave. I've been out the loop. Uh, don't you think it would have been better to let us deal with Amy's troubles, Matt? Sir, if I'd reported the harassment, Amy's life would have been made a misery. Chat to farm Sophie out as it is. You know, I've been working for weeks trying to get to the bottom of the violence on the Jasmine. Nobody's talking to me. Now you expect it from them. 
But you don't expect it from your own colleagues. You haven't got any kids, have you, Vic? Those kids that are in hospital, they're someone's sons and daughters too. Exactly, they're in hospital. You're saying that's my fault? Well, you're not exactly stopping it, are you? Well, it's better than perpetuating it. OK, stop. Let's leave the personal stuff aside. The key thing here is that thanks to Matt, we've got some new information. Thanks to Matt? We now know for sure that we're up against Ray Mullen, right? I suppose so, Gov. Look, I know this is all very necessary, but what about my daughter? Oh, come on. No, Vic, it's important. Do you think you've got a clear of them? Well, I don't know. They took the money, but if Ray Mullen finds out I've been spreading the word, he's back in Sun Hill. The point is, if you pressurise the Mullins, they will take it out on Amy. I should have thought of that before you decided to go around playing Super Dad. What did you say? Well, if you've been straight with us and the... Sorry to interrupt, but we had a call to a house fire on Jasmine Allen, 20 Beckside House. That's Amy's address. Jim! Jasmine Allen, now! She's gonna be okay, I know it. I promised her I'd sort it, June. You bastard, you said you'd pick him up. Tanya, it wasn't my fault. Something got in the way. Steve called it. Guess I'd talk to you lot. Said he's not coming back. Doesn't trust no one, including me. You did the right thing. What, do you tell her the same thing? Matt! Matt, she's... Amy, are you hurt? Are you hurt? Get off, Dad! Amy, please, I'm sorry. You promised! <laughs> I paid them the money. I thought it was shorty. Look. Red. Amy, don't do this to me, please. Please. I'll look after you. You've had your chance. Where's she going to stay? With us. I've seen it before. I can't wait to meet your witnesses. I won't give evidence. Have you seen what they do to people? Wasn't after your money. You think I'd have arrested my own daughter? What are we going to tell Boyden? I don't know.